Hello, beautiful brothers and sisters. This is Virginia. Let me open with prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, may you be glorified in this video. All glory goes to you. And may your words be spoken, not mine. And may everybody who comes to watch it be blessed. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let me present the gospel. Jesus loves you, and he wants you to spend eternity in heaven with him. But that can't happen unless you're born again. So first, admit you're a sinful creature, like we all are. Then, believe that Jesus is who he says he is, fully God, fully man. He came to earth, lived a perfect and sinless life. He shed his blood on the cross to pay the penalty for your sins. He died, was buried, and rose again from the dead. All you need to do is believe that. Just believe it. Without adding in any of your own good works or trying to be good, that's not going to work. It has nothing to do with belonging to any church or practicing any religion. It's just a matter of believing. The moment you believe is like a personal encounter in your heart between you and God, where you speak to him and you, you tell him you believe, call on his name. For the scripture says, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the moment you believe, you are born again and you are saved and you will receive the Holy Spirit who will indwell you forever. He will never leave you because salvation is eternal. You can never lose it. So I hope you have believed. Feel free to send me an email. My email address is in the description box, or you can leave a comment below. Well, this is the second video that I've made today. And I think this is the one that the Lord is, is calling me to speak to you about. Because there are so many people who are struggling so much and in so much pain, hanging on by the end of a thread. I have had three, perhaps four people just today tell me, or within the last day or two, tell me that they're not even sure that the rapture is about to happen. But it is, because no man knows the hour nor the day, so it's really futile to set dates or to tie it to feasts or to, to make any other kind of association with the rapture, even astronomical, like with blood moons and different things, God will come, Jesus will come when he's ready. And so please be encouraged. Please be encouraged to just wait for his timing because Jesus loves you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He is coming. And I really would like everybody to just be at peace and be encouraged. You know, Paul, and also be sure to keep sharing the gospel. I just shared the gospel today with somebody at the grocery store. And Paul shared the gospel after he was converted to Christianity, to Jesus. He was the apostle to the Gentiles, he's called. And I thought I would read for you what Jesus said to him in the book of Acts. This is Acts 18, 9. Jesus said, Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not thy peace. For I am with thee, and no man shall sit on thee to hurt thee. For I have much people in this city. So many times when I have shared the gospel, it has been a Christian already. And you can see when they're already saved because their eyes light up and they know Jesus, the love of the Holy Spirit, the love of Jesus is in them. And that's really what the gospel is all about. It's about love. People respond to the love of Jesus and the complete forgiveness for everything they have ever done in their whole life, no matter how habitual how habitual it is. Absolutely everything is forgiven, past, present, and future. Well, listen to how Paul recounts what Jesus said to him on the road to Damascus. 
Jesus said to Paul, and Paul is speaking here, but rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear to thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles, unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among those, among them, which are sanctified by faith that is in me. And so the benefits of believing in Jesus for everybody are, they're eternal. It's the difference between eternal life or eternal death in hell. And so I do want to encourage you to keep sharing the gospel because you know how much Jesus loves you and how much you love Jesus and how much we love everybody else as well. So let that love shine through you and allow God to glorify himself through you by sharing the gospel. And the other thing I wanted to ask you is to please pray. Please pray now, but also we know that there have, have been many, many indications that there's going to be war. Um, and it's coming very quickly. And we know that the kinds of things that we're going to, that, that will be done during this war, perhaps prior to the war, is that, um, for example, they could take down the electrical grid and they could destroy our internet uh, and telephone communications. And if that happens, which I suspect it will, please continue to pray. You could even make a make a commitment to somebody and tell them if we can't communicate with each other anymore in the way we, to which we've become a, a, accustomed, I will pray for you. I will not forget you. I will pray for you every day. What an encouragement that is to know that somebody's praying for you. I have a friend who has made that commitment to me and I have to them as well. And everybody, I, I will pray for all my subs all my family, all my friends. And that means a lot. And so as far as praying, I just thought I would read for you what Paul says in Philippians 4. He says, be careful for nothing, which means don't be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And in a very short while, we're going to be taken up in the rapture. I know we are. So everybody be encouraged. Jesus loves you. And he's coming for you. So thank you for coming to visit here today. God bless you, everybody. I love you. If there's another video to post, God will show me and I will put it up. Until then, bye for now.